Hi, Bassett Olympians. This is Mrs. Glendo, the assistant principal here, and I'm reaching out to let you guys know that it's time to register for the 2021 school year. I have your counselors here, Mr. Armas, Ms. Torres, and Ms. Villalvier, and they're going to walk you through the process. The process to register is very simple, so please follow along as we show you how to select your classes. Step one, log on to your Eliminate portal. Once you have done this, look on your left-hand side towards the bottom and click on the course request option. You will see your way to schedule your classes. If you are here, you will see different options for courses. Number one is English. Please consult with your counselor for any questions regarding your schedule. You're going to click on the plus sign in the English and you're going to see a box pop up. You have different options for English courses, starting with AP English Lit EN2300, all the way down to English 11 Health Academy, HA2020. You're going to click on the course you are scheduled to take next year and then you're going to click on save changes once you are done with english you can go to math mathematics so click on the plus sign again the window pops up with your choices your math class is going to be the next level so if you are taking math two now for example the next level is math three if you are taking math three right now the next level would be statistics or trigonometry pre-calculus you're going to click on the class you're planning to take next year and then you're going to click on save changes at the bottom Okay, guys, the next step is to select a science. So with science, it's a little tricky because some of you are done with science and some of you will select an elective. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And remember, if you are not done with your physical science or uh, biological science, make sure you pick your science. So it is an alpha order. And so you will have to look at the title to look for your science class, such as anatomy or integrated science one, um, another physics, physics AP. Um, and if you are done with science, then you could pick an elective. So all the electives are listed here, whether it's the fine arts category, whether it's a Spanish or foreign language, uh, whether it's band, whether it's uh, a pathway, such as medical uh, pathway or business pathway or engineering pathway those are all listed here you're going to go ahead and pick your elective or science in this case i'm going to go ahead and go with physics you click your i want i picked physics because i want to fulfill the a through g three-year requirement so i'm going to go ahead and save the changes and once you've picked the science or elective, if you move on to your social science, you click there and you will see your option. Everyone takes a US history for 11th grade or world history if you're in um, 10th or government econ for 12th. So here you have the option of US history, history AP or US history health academy. Select the appropriate class you will take save changes and you move on to the next one as you continue selecting your classes you will also click on the next box which again you will see a series of courses that you can take if you're in the 10th grade i'm going to advise you to to, to click on physical education 10 if you're in the upper grades, then you can select any of the electives that are there. 
according to your interests. So for example, if you are interested in pursuing a business health or business academy, um, the first course in that business academy is the business and personal finance class, CT8027. If you have already completed that course, the next class in that sequence will be business marketing. And if you have already completed business marketing, then the last class, which is the more advanced class in business, will be business management and leadership. Select wisely and click on the class that you would like to take. On the other hand, if you would like to take a ceramics class or a guitar class, you have those options also. In this case, I'm going to put down, I'm going to select a psychology class that interests me. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to save the changes. Lastly, I'm going to do the same thing for the very last class that I have. Since I get to have another elective, I just realized that I need to complete a foreign language in order for me to go to the university. And if I want to go to the university, then I'm going to select a foreign language. I can select from Spanish one, which is for students that don't speak Spanish, or I'm going to select Spanish speakers one, which are the course, which is the course that allows me to uh, take a more advanced class because I speak Spanish. So in this case, I'm going to take Spanish speakers one, FL 5030. I'm going to hit save changes. And once I have all of my six classes completed, my very last step is to submit my courses. Once the courses are submitted, your course requests will be recorded. You will not be able to change your course selections unless you contact your counselors. Thank you. All right, students, after you have done your course requests and submitted, this is what it should look like with the green screen. If you have any questions, please reach out to your counselors regarding your schedule. Thank you.